for two hours. Um, first, one of the things that hasn't been mentioned here, the increase in the earned income tax credit for single people has a marriage penalty in it. I, br I bring it up because I know the strength that Black Lives Matter had in this last election. I know it's a group that it doesn't like the old fashioned family. Um, disturbed that we have another program here in which we're increasing the marriage penalty. Second thing, we have loan forgiveness on farms based on ethnicity. Okay, some people are gonna get a forgiveness, some people aren't. I think that's incredibly divisive. I think we started out with a divisive uh, um, inaugural speech right off the bat, and to go down this route is only gonna create divisiveness in America. The third thing, to have a, a, um, a bill this high spending, with the Federal Reserve printing about this amount of money, is inevitably gonna result in inflation. I feel so sorry for young people today. As the cost of housing goes through the roof, I don't know how they're gonna be able to afford a house, but we also have increase in food costs, increase in energy costs. Um, I don't wanna call it the Joe Biden inflation, but I, I'm afraid that's where we're headed. The fourth thing, in the rush from judgment, giving checks to people uh, incarcerated. I've talked to my uh, correctional officers about this. I don't know how they're supposed to feel in which they have to work every day, and the people that they're taking care of are gonna be getting checks out of this. And um, finally, I've had two municipalities in my district in which I've been contacted, in which the amount of money they're getting is over 10 times what they feel would make them whole. So I think we're being very reckless about the degree to which we're spending money here. Thank you, I yield the remainder of my time. Ge gentleman yields back. Uh, ge ge gentleman yields back. Gentleman from Missouri Reserves. A uh, gentleman from Kentucky is recognized. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I now yield 45 seconds to the gentlelady from the Virgin Islands, Ms. Plaskett, a distinguished Joe member Woman of the is recognized Committee. for 45 seconds. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I hope my colleague from Wisconsin will not leave at this time as he's talked about Black Lives Matter. How dare you, how dare you say that Black Lives Matter, black people do not understand old-fashioned families. Despite some of the, it, the issues, some of the things that you have put forward that I've heard out of your mouth in the Oversight Committee, in your own district, we have been able to keep our families alive for over 400 years and the assault on our families to not have black lives or not even have black families. How dare you say that we are not interested in families in the black community? That is outrageous. That should be stricken down. I was going to talk about the American Rescue Plan. We know that this is going to provide relief to not only black lives, black Americans, but all Americans, that we are interested in children and in their welfare. And at this time, I yield back. Thank you, sir. Gentlemen, uh, yields back. Uh, 